This is the Bamboo Studio Setup Guide for 2025. No fluff, just real steps to get the machine dialed in. First you want to grab the Bamboo Studio Slicer. Make sure you go to their official site. We don't want to be downloading no, uh, nothing sketchy. Uh, so if you type in Bamboo Labs or Bamboo Studio, it'll pop up. Make sure you're downloading the correct version for your PC. I'm using the Mac. But other than the way that you download it, it's going to work exactly the same as if you're on a Mac or on the Windows 10. So click download. Once that's downloaded, it'll pop up like this. You just click on Bamboo Studios, it installs. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is create an account. Now you can see here I've already got one made. So obviously sign up yourself, make one. And once you are signed up, it will give you the option to... There you go, printer selection. So this is a part that's really important. So it depends what printer you're using. You could add all the bamboo range. Um, <clears throat> there is other printers on there, but I'm using the P1P uh, P or the P1S. <clears throat> but as you can see, there's other ones on there. So you've got the Creality range. Uh, there's Elegu on there, I think. Yep, there we go. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the other printers today. This one is solely about bamboo uh, printers. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of other options on there, but that will be for another video So tick which printer you've got and then just click confirm And this will bring you into the slicer itself. So we're ready to go here So so if you hit this little drop down box here, it comes up with all your different printers uh, I'll be using the p1s so we'll click on that and then as you can see we've got the build plate here So depending on what build plate you are using uh, you want to click on so I'm using the texture plate So as that's why it's already on there but if you're using a smooth one or a cool plate, make sure you're clicking that because that will affect your prints. Next step then, we want to be make sure we're clicking the correct filament that we're using. Now, if it's your bamboo PLA or standard PLA, make sure we're clicking that and highlighting it because it does make a, a difference. I know a lot of people are just hitting print sometimes and then they're coming up to with issues because they've clicked on the wrong filament. So a quick breakdown of some of the settings then. So you've got your strength where you can alter your infill. So that's your strength of your prints. So we're going to click on supports. We're going to enable supports. Uh, that automatically does it. And then we can type the type of support we're wanting. Uh, tree or normal. Auto is normally the best. Uh, this is the angle on what you're going to be printing. Uh, but for now, we're just going to click on tree supports. We're going to leave the angle because we want a nice, easy print. Now, the best thing about bamboo is if you're ever stuck for ideas, go on online models and then you're spoiled for choice. Now, if, <laughs> if you're like me, you just like printing any random stuff, you know, looking through here, like there's a Pokeball that's like a Death Star, some sort of crown for Game of Thrones, Halo. But you've already got an STL that you want to print, so we're going to go out to the icon at the top and click on Add. This is already loaded up, so I'm just going to click on Helmet and Open. There you go, it drags it on. Now, looking at this, it's too big for our build plate. You can see it's massive. It's bigger than what we can print, so we're going to scale it. So we're going to go across to the top and find Scale. There we go. And make sure Uniform Scale's on for this, so it alters all the size. We're going to put it to about 70%. There we go. And there you go, it fits on the bed. It may not fit my head, but for this video, it's fine. So if you have a look, the print is not sitting flush to the bed. Uh, you can alter it yourself. You can you can move it in different angles to get it flat. But we're going to use a tool that's called Auto Orientate. So if you have a look along the top, uh, you've got plenty of different features. But we're going to go to Auto Orientate. Look, there you click it. And it should snap. There you go. It'll snap your print to the bed. Gives you the best orientation for that print. For ease of use, it's unreal. Um, I'm not saying it's 100% accurate. Take it as you will. For this purpose, if you're new to printing, just please use it. It'll save you so much time. Once we're happy, we're going to go and click Slice. Now, don't get overwhelmed if it's the first time you've seen it. The numbers can be broken down if you have a look. Um, but yeah, so the basic print, you can see we've got tree supports in there. I wouldn't necessarily use them in the middle of the dome, but again, that's on one of my other videos. So if we look at the very bottom here, you can see that it's going to use 342 grams of filament. And right at the bottom, it's going to say it's going to use 13 hours and 45 minutes that's not bad for a helmet i don't think back in the day they used to take about three days so a pro tip is to check your print always have a look before you actually send it off to the printer so looking here we found a problem straight away so if we zoom in i don't know if you can see it you might see a load of little yellow specks they're actually the seams now when you're 3d printing the layers they do actually have to knit them together so what we're going to do we're going to hide them so we're going to go on to quality and then if you have a look on the seam here, they're on random, but we're going to put it to the back 
Now this will re-slice your file. And once that's done, you should see, there you go, it's put the seam right down the back. Nobody will be looking down the back there, so that's out of the way for now. So once we're happy with it, we're going to go over to the top and click print plate. Now you can select your printer, what you've got. Mine's obviously called Betty for some reason. I don't know why I did that. We'll quickly rename that because it's not a chicken. Hopefully this video were informative. I hope you've learned something. I hope it stops you from making errors that we've all made at some point or another. And hopefully you get a nice first print. Good luck with it. Let me know how that goes on.